Hello, in this video, I'm going over Microsoft Azure Global VNet Peering. Hello everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going over Microsoft Azure Global VNet Peering. VNet Peering has been around for a while. It allows you to seamlessly connect two virtual networks in the same region. Up until now, though, those VNets had to be in the same region. With global VNet peering, you can connect VNets that are in different regions. So why is this in the, important? In the past, the only way to connect two VNets that were in different regions was to use a VPN gateway, passing traffic over a public network. Uh, global VNet peering is simpler to set up, uh, easier to configure, and the traffic between the VNet stays on the private Microsoft low latency connection. So how do you set this up? Well, let's get started. To get started, you'll have to log into your Microsoft Azure subscription and enable the uh, global VNet peering. Okay, so you can see here global VNet peering is not enabled on this account. So in order to enable that, I'm going to run a couple commands. And I'll be sure to post these commands so you don't have to write them down or, or try to type them in as I am. Oops. Okay, so that enabled it and I'm registering the feature. Now if I go back to uh, get Azure provider features, you can see that it's registering. So with that, I'm gonna pause and we'll get back, uh, I'll come back once it's finished. And as you can see, the global VNet peering option is registered on my account. So <clears throat> the way I'm gonna test this is I have two VMs or I'm sorry, uh, two VNets, each of them has a VM connected. So I've got one in the West Central US region and the other one in the West 2 region. As of this recording, those are the only two US regions that are allowed global VNet peering. Um, more, uh, more regions are coming up, but for now, these are the only two that I can test with. And as you can see here, I've got two VMs. This one's in the West 2. That's got an IP address on the 10.30 network. And the next one is... That one's on the West Central, and it has an IP address of 10.50. So if I try to ping the other one, oops. <clears throat> it won't work because there's no route between these two uh, VNets or subnets. And I can show the same over here. And the request time's out. Again, there's no connection between these two VNets. 
So I'm going to start with the West Central. I'm going to go into the V-net and go down to Peering. And I'm going to add So put in a name, and I'm using the uh, resource manager. Um, I'm going to select the VNet that I'm going to peer with. And so this is from West Central US to West US 2. And everything else can stay the same. Um, you can go through and read the description of each if you want to extend some of the functionality. But for this, I'm going to add it. So now we can see this West peering on uh, West Central US. It's initiated, but it's not connected yet. So the way I'm going to get this connected is to go to West US number two and do the same thing. Point being that these need to be set up on both VNets. And here you can see I'm in West US 2 and I'm connecting to West Central US. Leave all the rest the same. Click OK. All right, that's been added. We'll just refresh that and you can see now uh, on this side it's coming up with the appearing status of connected. If I go back to West Central, that should be, uh, have the same status. And there it is. Okay, so if I go back to these VMs and run the ping command again. Let's see here. So this is from 1030 to 1050. There we go. And on the other one, that's it. So now these two VNets in different regions are linked and pinging back and forth. A couple things to note, I did run into an issue with Windows Firewall. Of course, by default, that's not going to allow ping traffic to pass between two different subnets. So I had to disable that. And also, it takes a few seconds for... Uh, the VNet peering to, to get set and actually pass traffic. So it could take up to a minute or two. Don't be alarmed if you have problems uh, initially trying to ping back and forth. Other than that, that's all there is to it. Um, that's how you get VNet peering across multiple regions in Microsoft Azure. Thanks for watching.